Oh my goodness, what is up, you guys? This is my first YouTube video back in years, but I've been getting so many messages on Instagram about making sourdough, and it's really hard to just explain sourdough in all its entirety. So I'm actually gonna do like a three-step process for the basics. And then once you have like the, the three-step process nailed down for the basics, honestly, it's probably two steps. Getting all the shit together and then making the bread. So this is gonna be a two-step process of like beginner sourdough. This is the first video. Um, and then the second video will be actually baking a very basic loaf. And then after that, I'm gonna start posting all the different sourdough recipes that I do. Also, different meals that I do because it's super fun, like whether they be barbecuing or literally whatever. But I'm gonna change, turn this into kind of like a day in the life cooking situation just because I find that fun. It's very me and I love it. Okay, so if you wanna eventually get to like these fun this is like a i just made this a sun-dried tomato and like cheddar loaf the texture is good the sound is good oh my god it's beautiful this is an oval loaf um you need to start with a few things and the first thing would be getting sourdough starter i would love to teach you how to make sourdough starter but it's a pain in the ass. It's a long process. Most people give up while they're getting to it. And it's so much easier to just go on Facebook Marketplace, literally type in sourdough starter. You take a glass jar to some lady's house. They give you a little bit of starter for $5 and then you're good to go. So for instance, my girlfriend Taryn brought me sourdough starter from Kelowna. And this is what it would have looked like super quite liquidy like this that's not what you want this has been sitting on the counter all day so this would be what i would consider discard i would i'm actually going to dump majority of this out into a different jar which i collect because i collect all the discard for other recipes english muffins are a discard recipe um muffins are a discard recipe Pancakes are a discard recipe. There's so many recipes they can make with discards, so you never have to throw throw it away, essentially. So, like I said, this is too runny. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking almost all of it out. And then I always put in 40 grams of flour, 35 grams of water, mix it, set the rubber band lower to where it where it is and then wait for it to rise. And sometimes that takes four hours, sometimes that takes eight hours. It kind of just depends on the temperature of your house. But the best thing is like, once you first get a sourdough starter, if theirs is like a really strong one, you could start baking with it right away. But if it's not, just feed it for two days, which means again, if it rises and then falls, dump it out. So you just have like, say 30 grams of starter in the bottom, then add 40 grams of flour, 35 grams of water. That's, I mean, yeah, 40, 40 grams of flour, 35 grams of water, and go with that. That's what works for me. Again, I don't know if that works for everyone, but having a starter is very important. There's gonna be a lot of sourdough recipes that say you need 10 grams of starter plus 30 grams of flour plus 30 grams of water, and then the term is called I'm gonna say it's so wrong, but it's like leaven or leaven, L-E-V-A-I-N. I always just go with whatever kind of feels natural, which is like one part to one part to one part, mix it and let it sit. I'm not actually gonna make this into a fresh starter right now, just because I won't be using this until um, later tomorrow. But anyway, starter is like the number one thing you need to have for sourdough. Secondly, is flour i mean salt flour too but salt i use the molden flake salt i love having that little bit of texture and the more of a bite to it this is the flour i use i use the anita's white flour 
all-purpose flour, unbleached bread flour. It is local to BC. Where is it from? Chilliwack. So it's local to Chilliwack. You can actually get the giant like 25 kilogram bags of this from a place called Sprouted in Abbotsford actually. You could also probably get it in large quantities in Chilliwack, but this is the flour we use. I love it. If you go on the internet, there's a lot of recipes that also say that you need filtered water for your sourdough. I technically have a filter, like a UV light and a filter built into our system of our house. So I can't give like a fair judgment on whether filtered water or non-filtered water is best or not. But anyway, water, flour, salt, starter. That's what you need. So step one, go and get sourdough starter for some old lady on Facebook and then we can go to the next process. Two, you're gonna want one of these bad boys. I used to use a fork or my hands, but once I started using the actual like bread whisk, I'll link this on Amazon. I'll link, it's a set. It comes with this whisk, a banneton basket, an oval banneton basket, a scorer, and this little scraper that you just like can scrape your dough out of. So I'm also gonna link all that. Secondly, I would say that you that's kind of like important to have when you're first starting off a sourdough is having plastic wrap or one of those really cute covers that go over top of the bowl. And also jar caps work and things like that. But yeah, that's literally like those are the basic things that you need to get started with sourdough. As I said, I'm super excited to get sourdough baking with you guys. I'm also going to like I said, link all of the Amazon things that I have. It's like a little super quick Amazon cart. Because I said you don't need all these things to start, but you also are gonna need a Dutch oven and you're also going to need either parchment paper or one of these guys. It's reusable. You just like put your loaf on it, set it in your Dutch oven and pull it out. I really find this handy and I really like it a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna link everything in the little section below. And once you've collected all of those basic things, then the next video I'm gonna post is going to make way more sense because right now, if you don't collect all those things first and they'll ship in one day on Amazon, it'll be great. But you need to go find sourdough starter for some old lady because like the five to eight day process that it takes to create your own starter is just not as fun and you like lose the want to do it by having to wait. So get a glass jar, go find starter on Facebook, and we will go from there. But I'm so excited to start sourdough breaking with you guys.